In this tutorial, I'll show you how to store information on your scientific calculator. We'll begin with a demonstration on this Casio, and then I'll show you how to do this on a Sharp. So let's get started. I have the key log here so you can see what I'm typing in. Say we want to store the sum of 5 plus 6. It equals 11. What you do is you click Shift, and you click this button, RCL, which activates the storage feature. And now we get to choose the variable we want to store 11 into. We can choose A, B, C, D, E, F, X, or Y. If we want to store into A, we simply click the button corresponding to A, and now 11 has been stored. If we want to use 11 in another expression, for example, it is 2 plus 3 plus 11, what you can do is you can type in, let's say, 2 plus 3, and now we want to bring back A. You click alpha and that button, and that is equal to 16. Let me show you another example. This time we'll store the number 7.12356. Again, we'll click Shift, RCL, and you choose a variable in which you want to store it as. We'll store it as A. So 7.12356 has been stored as A. And let's say we want to recall what A was. We simply click RCL and A, and that will tell us what A was stored as. Or you can even use it as part of your expression. So that's how it's done on a Casio. Now let's look at how it's done on a Sharp. So here's a simulator for a Sharp calculator. Say we want to store 9.14. You click STO. You choose the variable in which you want to store it as. We'll store it as X. And that's all there is to it. So let's say we want to add 5 plus 9.14. We will now click alpha. And it was stored as X. And we end up with 14.14 as expected. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comment section below.